Alright, so hi guys, today I'm going to go through on tutorial 3. I've chosen the first question to explain to you on this tutorial. You can take a few minutes to read the question. If not, um, we'll just carry on with the video. So, first up, we're just going to go through some of the formulas that will be used in this tutorial. The first one will be the GZ equals to KN minus KG fluid sine theta. And the second one will be Simpson multipliers. For 1, 3, 3, 1, you will use this formula and respectively. So, let's get started with this uh, question. So, this is a table uh, given uh, at the question itself. is the heel angle and the KN value. So uh, the first step is to actually find the GZ value. First, you have, you have to use this KN value here, um, given, and the kg fluid which is given in the question to be 8.77 meters, uh, and sign the heel angle. So uh, uh, what you do next is to create a table that looks something like this, where you have the heel angle uh, versus the GZ values. Um, you have to do all for all the heel angles, so 0 to 80 degrees. And since the question asks you to verify whether the condition satisfy the IMO requirement of the area under the writing level curve should be not less than 0 0.055 meter radian up to 30 degree, you have to do another table where you have the heel angle 0 to 30 degree with their respective GZ values and using some multipliers to, to find the FA. So the system multipliers that I'll be using for this question is 1331 because it is even number. Uh, and you are supposed to find the FA which is the product of system multipliers times GZ. And uh, you have to also find the submission of FA and in this case it's 2.059. The next step would be to use this formula 3 over 8 times the submission of FA times 0 0.175 which is equals to 0 0.135 meter radian. And um, how I go about uh, getting 0 0.175 is actually 10 degrees is equals to 0 0.175 radian. So where do I get the 10 degrees? Actually the difference between each hill and goal. Yep, so... Um, uh, upon completion of this uh, calculation, you can you realize that it is actually bigger uh, than 0 0.055 meter radian and hence it, it actually satisfies the IMO requirement. And in order for you to complete this question uh, itself, you have to do a GZ curve and your GZ curve would look something like this where uh, you use the GZ value you have calculated previously versus the heel angle. So uh, the first part of the question asks you to answer what is the range of stability of the um, vessel itself. So the range of stability is 0 to 80 degrees and um, th just basically from this point to the other positive point of the curve. And the part B, they ask you to find the maximum GZ and the angle at which it occurs. So this is just to say that you are supposed to find the maximum point on the curve itself. So in this case, this is the maximum point of the curve and the answer will be 0 0.603 at 40 degrees. So um, to complete this GZ curve, you're supposed to also draw the uh, GMT fluid. So um, the, first, the first part is to draw a vertical line at, uh, at this angle, 57.3 degrees up uh, vertically. Um, and and then you start another line from the origin until it intersects with this uh, part of the line. So it will look something like this. So from this intersection point to the zero or to the origin will be where your GMT fluid is. So uh, this will be uh, uh, your completed GZ curve. And um, so I'll just go through some of the important points that you have to know. Uh, in a GZ curve. So the first point will be the uh, maximum point where it actually determines the maximal external upsetting moment of the vessel. So what does this mean is actually this is where the maximum healing moment uh, that the ship can actually withstand without capsizing. And the uh, next point is the angle of vanishing stability. This is the angle uh, where 
the uh, range of stability is. So uh, from the origin to the angle of vanishing stability will be where your is the, also called uh, as the range of stability. And the third point will be the point of inflection where um, this is where roughly the angle at which the deck edge becomes immersed. So thank you very much.